I want you to know all the pieces, all the moving parts. Number one, you need a strategy. You need to know why you're doing this the end game that you're trying to create. So are you trying to build a list? Are you trying to sell products? Are you trying to go out and get JV partners? What is it? What is your goal in doing the webinars? You need to know what the outcome. Are you going to try to sell more books? Are you going to try to generate leads for your coaching program? What is your reason for doing it? You need your strategy right. And it's, it's really important. I find that a lot of people, there's a difference between what I call strategy and tactics. Strategy is the overriding game plan or the reason why you're doing things and the overall um, processes that you're going to put together and all that. Okay, It's the big master plan or blueprint. The tactics are the how you do things. So the way you do your slides and the way you get people to show up or anything. And I find that many times people operate very tactically. They hear somebody say, webinars are a great way to make money, so they go out there and they try to sort of duplicate what somebody else is doing, but they don't really know how to put it all together, and so they fall flat on their face, and they make mistakes, and they go, oh, well, webinars won't work for my product, which is really a crock of bull, right? The fact is, they didn't do it right, and so and they didn't do it for the right reasons. The right, they didn't have the strategy in place. So you need to look at your business and know where you're headed in terms of your long-term game plan, and then you say, okay, how do webinars fit into this? Are we going to use them to build a list, to generate leads? Are we going to use them to uh, build our reputation in the marketplace? Are we going to use it to demonstrate our products and get people using our products more? What is our strategy? Next, you need a presentation presentation, as people would say, um, which includes both content and visuals. The content is the things that you're going to talk about and say, and then the visuals, obviously, is the things that you're going to put on the slide. A webinar versus a teleseminar is the fact that it's visual. The, the webinar gives you that opportunity, like I'm doing right here. I mean, these aren't really complicated. It's just words on a page. Um, some of my webinars have pictures and things like that. You can get really snazzy with them, but you have to decide what it is that you're going to put in that and why are you putting it on each slide. Every slide takes time. Every slide eats up time in your, in your hour, hour and a half that you're going to deliver. So you need to make sure that you select those things carefully. Audience. I will tell you that that was probably the number one question when I look at all the questions that came in it was how do I get people on the webinar where do I find potential attendees how do I get people to show up um, how do I get people to promote my stuff and so this truly is a big pain point I can teach you the mechanics of doing a webinar but if I don't teach you how to get people or if you don't know how to get people on the webinar then you're going to be mechanically sound but you're going to be doing it to yourself and all you're going to hear is crickets and no orders coming in so you've got to get people to show up and listen so that they'll buy your stuff um, then you need an offer meaning you need something to sell them now put in the question box I would love to see how many of you have your own products and how many of you don't have a product yet? Would you put that in the question box? I'd love to get some feedback from you. How many of you already have a product, and how many of you do not have a product? I do, software product, no product yet. I have a product, uh, no product yet. I have a product, I do not have, don't have a product yet. have tons of product, I'm a hypnotist, cool. No specific product, no product. I do, I have one, no product, in development. Two or three products. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll have by 1117. Very cool, Sheila. Good for you. Uh, too many ideas regarding products. Okay. I do. I do. Working on a product. Okay. So you guys are at different levels. Would you... Yeah, that's going to make a lot of sense for some of you when I get to the end. I'm going to... I have a $2,000 product called Fast Product Formula that teaches you how to put together your own information training product soup to nuts all the way from creating the idea to, to delivering and marketing and selling it and that webinars are a great way to sell those products once you've created them I'm going to tell you how to get that two thousand dollar product absolutely free today okay so uh, and I will give you that at the end now that information now you do need an offer but here's the deal even if you don't have your own product and I'm going to I'm going to tell you that you can use webinars to create products. For example, um, many of my training products, including Webinar Cash Cow, were taught live in a webinar format and were sold first. 
meaning I sold them. Let's just use an example. I sold them on Thursday. I already had it outlined. I knew where I was headed in terms of, of creating the product. And then over the next two to four to six to 12 weeks, I taught the product live, module by module, sometimes two to three modules at a time, and recorded it. And we loaded it in a members area. But people could attend live and then get it as a replay as well. And then once it was done, I sold it. Oh, AJ, I see you're on here. Welcome, AJ. He's from uh, Dubai, right, AJ? Um, but once I, um, once I had created those products, teaching them live, then they became home study courses that people could access inside a member's area. So you can use webinars to create product. I bet all of you can do that. So um, if you knew how to do the webinars and then you knew how to create product, you could go out there and start making it. But the fact is that you could also be an affiliate for other people's products and sell them using webinars. So for example, someone mentioned they had a software product. Generally, software products solve a problem and help people do stuff faster than John says. Okay, John has software. You know, software products typically let someone help someone do something faster, more efficiently than they could do it without the software product. That's kind of the general idea. Obviously, there's many other things that software products do, but one cool way to do a webinar if you're going to tell. Uh, sell a software product and there's lots of software products out there that you could become an affiliate for and you could literally go out and start doing webinars or approach other marketers who have products and offer to do webinars for them to sell their products even if you don't have your own product yet that's a good way to start and with a software product basically you demonstrate how to do something manually and then you show them that there's this cool software that does it faster and bingo you're off to the races okay um, Tom says I have access to many products limited money and and on hand inventory need to make more money to be able to carry more inventory on hand possible increase in traffic very cool yeah so you need to go sell some stuff so that you can then um, start making some more money Fred says uh, is it typically a 50 percent split actually there's all kinds of um, splits out there there's some products that will go 75 to 100 percent affiliate split because those marketers are selling those front-end products to get the list of buyers so they'll pay you a lot more money up front there's a way to find those we'll talk about that in fact I may do a little bonus training session for our, our webinar people uh, but anyway Carrie in Idaho welcome she says so uh, all right so you need an offer you need something to sell them either your own product that already exists today or a product you're going to create immediately following and do it live like I just suggested which many of you can do and or you can go out and sell somebody else's product and then next, the technology, the way to deliver the live event and a replay. Um, and I'm going to talk about some of those things. <coughs> Excuse me, some of those things and how they work. Okay. So that's what you need. 